Yo, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walkie, and I'm back with, uh, some more Dragalia Lost. Today I'm just gonna be grinding up on this princess. Oh yeah! I really need to get, I am lazy sometimes with these events, and there's only five days left, so. I just want to get crazy with it. Deal with this collab. No, I have not seen Zardin used in 27 years. What are you doing here, my brother? Are you really not going to start the fight? Um, so remember, if you end up liking this video, leave a like, comment, tell me how you feeling, how you doing, how you daily grinding going on. I'd, I'd like to hear about it. And uh, subscribe to me if you want some more Dragalia stuff. Man. I also won't be talking more about the data mines. I feel like until a lot of people are um, going crazy, and for good reason, because it is very exciting news, but... Um, I need I need my smoking bullet before I can go back and talk more about it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go check out that um, data mine video I did. I don't want to specifically talk about it here, just because I don't want to spoil. In case there are people who specifically just want to, um, I don't know, enjoy the enjoy the surprise of it. Because I remember honestly, if, if we're being 100% real, real talk right now. Um, I remember when I originally heard about the leak for Monster Hunter and being like blown away. And then when the Monster Hunter event came, I was like, yeah, cool. I've been waiting for this. It's, I'm glad it's finally in the game. And that feeling of like actual genuine excitement just wasn't there because I already knew it was coming. So it's very unfortunate that that's just kind of the way we live in i am very happy to know that this these people are coming because now i know i need to save but when it happens it's going to be a little bit less uh subdued i guess it's just kind of the my personality the way i am so in case you're out there and you want to specifically just like keep the surprise keep the hope keep your childlike wonder i won't say much about it you don't have to worry about that for me you probably have to worry from other people from other people doing youtube stuff i don't you know what I don't, I don't judge anyone for doing what they got to do to make, uh, to get up there on YouTube. I can tell you this right now, I don't do a lot of that stuff, and that's why <laughs> it takes me, like, an entire year to get to, like, uh, to, to... No, I think it actually took me more than a year to get to, to 1,000. It took me, like, shit, maybe five years, I think. It's a long journey, man. It's a long journey when you don't specific... When you're, one, bad at this, because I am bad at this, and two... You don't do things that a lot of other traditional YouTubers do. Um, I try, I guess, specifically not be that way. And it uh, sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. When it does work, I'm always excited to be like, oh yeah, I was able to do it my way and not have to do it someone else's way. I think that's the reason that it actually bothers me is that there is a set way. And I don't like the idea of just following a hands-on guide of how to do it. I forgot that I could just add all metal this. But I don't know, everyone's different. I don't fault anyone for, especially if they want to make this specifically their living, they need to do that. In which case, if, you're, if you want to make this your living and you want to do it that way, um, do what you have to do, because that's the nature of the beast. I don't blame anyone for playing in YouTube's field. You should be playing in YouTube's field, to be honest, if you are trying to be that way. I just don't do it that way because... I don't know, I'm an idiot, I guess. <laughs> Uh, there's no long way or short way about it. The foolish pride. Like, similar to why Vegeta is able to um, get his shit rocked 24-7 by any villain. Just because he has that, that damn Saiyan pride. I have Saiyan pride. In, in my own way. In my own dumbass way. That's why Vegeta is so relatable. Because everyone can relate to um, being a loser. Where it's harder to really actually, that's not true because uh, Vegeta is not a loser, he wins all the time. Um, he just also takes the f when he does lose, it's always funny. That's the reason why people like talking about him. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? I don't know. Goku and Vegeta are pretty cool. I wish there was a better Dokkan game. I wish there was a better Dragon. I wish there was a better Dragon Ball mobile game out there. It's a real shame, by the way. Uh, if you don't know this, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. Actually, that's where a lot of my, um, I guess the if you want to uh, say where I why I started making videos, it was because of um, I used to be a mod on the Dokkan subreddit, uh, Purple Wokey. I used to go with a, um, a Gine 
um, Avatar when I was mod. But we used to do a thing called Modcast, and through Modcast is how I was able to kind of like get an idea of how to upload videos and do all that other stuff. And eventually I stopped being a mod. And Well, before that, I actually started trying to do stuff on my own, but then I didn't want to do Dokkan stuff because I already had... If I was going to do Dokkan stuff, then I would just do it specifically to the Dokkan Reddit channel where there was a bunch of people already hyped about Dokkan that I could talk to about that with that, but... Um, so I used my YouTube video, my YouTube for more stuff that I wanted to play with. And that's how I still kind of treat my YouTube, to be honest. It just so happens that sometimes, well, what happened is I lost my goddamn house. And my goddamn, <laughs> and, and I, I can laugh at it now. Um, and me losing the house kind of put a damper on a lot of the fun other videos I used to make besides my gotcha stuff. To be honest, it's still hard to make gotcha stuff, um, because I can only record, like, after midnight, if the old people... Oh, god, I don't want to get into it. It's, it's, it's a pain in the butt. It's honestly too much of a hassle to even keep talking about it. Ah, but hopefully soon, those days will be over, and I'll be able to have a house to live with my family, all happy together, once again. Man, it says something about where I feel like how bad my 2019 was that 2020 is somehow not as bad globally it is worse honestly because duh greedily somehow 2019 is still worse for me it's somehow i'm it's maybe it's at that point where it's like there's only so many times you can get kicked in the nuts before you're just like Oh, I don't even feel anything down there anymore, man. This is like the third nut kick year in a row. I've literally had nothing but bad years. And I'm at here where it feels like the final nut kick. And I'm just like, okay. If I can survive this nut kick, there's literally nothing the world can do to me now. Like, what the hell is it going to do? At that point, just kill me. <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> if, I saw, if, uh, if there's anything worse beyond this, I don't know, bro. Take me out. But... Because that's the only thing that's apparently going to be able to stop me. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Because there's way worse things I can have in dual person. I don't know. What am I talking about? I don't know. This is what happens when we do grind. When I do grinding talks. I just talk about whatever comes into my head. Oh, let me take a little sip of cocoa. Cool. I don't know. But I still try and do different kind of video stuff. It's not as often as I would like. But... I still try. Because that's all you can do nowadays, man. It's not about... Um, I don't know. It's not about being good. Because I don't think I'm good. I think I'm the exact opposite of good. I think, you know how there's uh, Jack of all trades, Masters of None? I'm a Jack who does multiple trades and isn't very good at any of the trades. <laughs> like, there's mastery and then there's like... I feel like a jack of all trades is still able to be competent in everything they do. I can do things uh, other people can't do, just not as good as others. But somehow below competency. It's uh, it's actually kind of amazing when you think about it. It's actually kind of amazing to be as bad a person as I am. Oh, hello, Pucaron. Let's get into it. <clears throat> if you want to know how bad I am... Because uh, let's just continue the shit talk Wilkie train. Uh, comment about the least favorite thing I do that uh, I do. D don't, please don't do that. It would destroy me emotionally. <laughs> but to get back to what I was going to try and say, is that I accidentally deleted the goddamn finale of my Star Wars um, thing. Where I was, I've was, i been playing Shadows of the Empire, and I deleted the stupid goddamn episode before it uploaded, so I have to redo it today tonight. So I can release it tomorrow with um, my fave video. Because Star Wars videos don't make me any money because the... <laughs> one, no, not many people watch it. The people who do watch it are very dedicated and I appreciate all of them that do. Um, but Star Wars takes all the money I would earn. So all 10 cents that I would earn from those videos. No, Disney's like, what about our cut? And they take it. I don't know why they sound like that in my head, but they do. Okay, let's do an EX. So yeah, that's something that I have to constantly think about too. I think this will be the final battle. Yeah, that guy got a fish. 
I respect the fish. I feel like you have to use fish with Pecoron, but would Pecoron actually use? I'm still not 100% sure. If they say her name. I'm the Peckerish Pickup Pecoron. Hmm. I don't know. The music died. I have American Pie. Oh, I forgot that I have to actually play. The last thought, <laughs> because this is, uh, I'm all over the place, but it's fine. Did you know, so if you're not unaware of the song American Pie by, I think it's not American McGee, but whatever his name is, he is the American Pie song guy. Um, it's basically this long, like, it's a music form of a subtweet where it's like one guy talking shit about a bunch of different artists because it's, it's about the night that, um, the music died, which is, um, which is, which is an event that's uh, that is an event that is called that because it's the night that the Big Bopper, Richie Valens, and Buddy Holly all died in a plane crash. Um, so in it, I think there's a line that's specifically about Bob Dylan. They call he calls him the Jester, and you should look up Bob Dylan's response because Bob Dylan is mo known for being like the man who makes like protest songs that goes hoo, hoo, hoo. that guy. I've never seen a man more angry. I was like, Jester, you, you know, look at my work. Do you th like? I think Bob Dylan doesn't need to fucking explain himself to a one-hit wonder, but he's out here going like, mm, you know, I'm just saying, you call me a fucking Jester, look at my hits. I'm like, dude, you look like an idiot. Shut up. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you getting angry about this? It's the dumbest thing for him to get petty about, but he was totally petty about it. It's really funny, though. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. It was really weird. It was really rambly, but whatever. It was a grind and talk. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.